Good morning. Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Sorry for the wee delay in the start here. <clears throat> I had to do some tough shit before uh, coming live. So, um, hmm. if you're here with me live, let me know. Drop a hello or a heart or a wave. Let me know you're here. If you're catching the replay, you can hashtag replay so I know you've caught this. And welcome to, there's going to be, as I said, I think this is in the email or in the body of the post, there's, I'm going to be using the S word, so if you've got little ones around, you might want to stick your headphones on, because we're getting into the tough shit today. And I know you can relate to that. <laughs> so just briefly, if anyone is new here, my name is Heather McGregor. I'm the founder of Naturally Present and of this group. And this month, the month of February, we are making it matter. Make your money desires matter. Make your cash goals matter. Make your business matter. Make it matter. That's what we're focusing on this month in the group. Uh, I believe this is session 13. Yeah, so I'm going live Monday to Friday with very short 15, 20, maybe 30 minute sessions just to really make sure you're getting your energy aligned with making it matter. Making sure you're doing things to shift and alchemize your shadow energy and take the bold moves to move you forward. So. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm just going to bring this over here and make sure I can see comments if there are any. There we go. Okay, got them. I'm going to type a little wee comment in here just to make sure. Type comment. Okay, good. They're live. So um, now that you know who I am, now that you know we're on session 13 of this month, if you've missed any of the one, other ones or you just want to refresh on one of our topics, you'll find them all in the guide section under Animate Your Power. Today, session 13, we're talking about doing the tough shit and making that matter. So there's two um, elements or two sides to this, and they're both important. One is really kind of obvious, and the other one is probably a little less obvious. So we're going to start with the obvious one. Okay, so do the tough shit right now. Obviously, this piece, the obvious bit of it is applying that to the stuff you avoid, the things you don't like to do in your business, the things where you say you're going to do them, but then when it comes time, suddenly you're sweeping your floors, you're working on your website, you're doing all the things except the thing that you really don't want to do, the tough shit that you don't want to do. Um, whether that's, you know, outreach to clients, um, cold DMs, um, doing Facebook lives, whether it's the nurture process, building relationships, whatever it is in your business that you really don't enjoy, you've got some emotion around it, some feeling around it, some judgment around it, some idea that you don't want to do it for whatever reason. The reason doesn't matter. The fact that matters is that you don't want to do it. You avoid doing it. Even if you know, even if your intuition screams at you, this is your next step. You don't want to do it. That's the tough shit I'm talking about. When your intuition drops something, you do it. You do it right now for two reasons, and I've talked about this before. Number one, your intuition will always lead you on the most direct path towards your goal, the thing you say that matters to you, the thing that you want. It will always lead you on a more direct path. Shadow is going to take you on all the detours, all the ways around, but not the direct path. Intuition will take you on the direct path. Now, the other piece of that is sometimes intuition will lead you on a path which maybe doesn't look direct, but it will reveal shadow energy for you and you have an enormous opportunity to shift shadow to get into your power and to really make bold audacious moves so doing the tough shit avoiding the tough shit means avoiding the opportunity to see where you're playing small to see where you're not animating power where you're animating your shadow instead so when your intuition drops something in it doesn't matter what your judgment is on it it doesn't matter if you want to do it or you don't want to do it, it doesn't matter if you're having a good hair day or a bad hair day, you do the Facebook live because you said you would. So do the tough shit, you know, even so I talk about all the things in your business, but it might be you get a hit to do a juice fast or exercise more or, you know, give up a couple hours of Netflix a week or wake up early in the morning, whatever your intuition gives to you, all those things impact how you show up in your business, how you show up. For the tough stuff it's much easier to say you know what i'm not going to do that facebook live today because i had you know a glass of wine last night i'm not feeling my, my my right self today right whatever the thing is for you it might be 
The tough shit might be looking at your finances. It might be paying some overdue bills. Uh, it might be actually inviting people to jump on a sales call with you, actually directly asking someone, do you wanna work with me? That can be the tough shit. It might be um, ooh, collecting overdue payments from clients, like actually asking people for the money they owe you. Settling up some debt, meeting with your accountant, look at whatever it is around your finances. So look at the things in your business that you really don't want to do and avoid doing. Look at the things in your life, your health, your relationships, your sleep, your eat, all that stuff. Look at the things around finances and, and try to identify like what is the tough shit that you really are avoiding doing. I talk a lot about this. It, if you are serious about meeting your cash goals, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. That includes the tough shit that we like to avoid. You need to get raw and real with yourself around all the tasks that you love to do and raw and real with yourself around all the tasks that you don't wanna do. All the things that you know are going to move your business forward, all the things that you know are going to bring you sales calls, all the things that you know are going to take you closer to the goal that you desire, your 10K month, whatever it is. All the things that you know you need to do, your intuition drops it in, or your coach has told you, or your mentor reveals it, whatever it is, but you seem to find things to do other than those. That's the obvious tough shit. And of course, the faster you do it, the faster and closer you get to your results. When your intuition says outreach to this, you send a DM to this person right now, you do it right then, that brings you closer to a yes or a no. And what's happening in that experience it doesn't mean that that person's going to say yes, they may, and that would be amazing. It could be that they say no, but you get to unlock more power. You get to reveal more of your shadow. You get to collect more data for your intuition to work with so that the next moves it gives you is coded and empowered with more data, with, with a data that's more clearly um, precise and potent for you and how you operate your business. That's, that's a kind of a, another subject that we'll talk about that another day but if you're really serious about making the money you say that you want then you have to be willing to do whatever it takes and this means getting raw and real about the things you don't want to do raw and real about when you say no and prepare yourself to show up for the tough shit anyway and to show up in the moment not okay I know I have to do Facebook lives I'm going to schedule it in for the beginning of March no you do it now that's how you get into that action and that you unlock that flow where your intuition is guiding you, you are moving and things can happen. Whew, I do get ranty. <laughs> if anyone has any questions along the way, please let me know. So as I said, part of what your intuition will guide you to is where you're operating in lack of power. When you're in shadow, when you're in um, prostitute, child, saboteur, or victim energy, where you are animating those things rather than the power, right? And you can have an opportunity to alchemize. Every time you choose to alchemize energy, to shift it into power, you unlock magnetism, you, you grow your energy field, and all the hidden and subtle things that we don't see in our business that is actually helping to bring people and money towards you. We don't see that stuff. That's the realm of the magician, right? The saboteur wants to know, if I do this Facebook Live, I'm gonna get a client, whereas the magician is like, I know if I move this energy, I know how creation works, I know it's magnetizing my energy field, I know it's putting me out there, I know I'm busting up shadow, it knows that it's now arranging the molecules in the universe around you so that the clients start to reach out to you. So that the next time you put out a cold call DM, they're like, oh, I remember that live you did. Yeah, I'd love to know more. Whatever the, the details are, right? If you wanna generate sales in your business, you wanna bring cash into your business, you have to do sales generating activities. You have to market yourself. You have to get very clear and precise on your offers. You have to put yourself out there. You have to ask people if they wanna work with you. You have to put out invitations. That's just part of doing business. There's no sidestepping that. But you wanna be doing these things with as much power as possible, not shadow. So when you get that intuitive hit, you follow through on it and you follow through right now. You make the decision, the choice to do the tough shit, no matter what your mind is telling you about it, right? <clears throat> okay, so that's the first part of do the tough shit now. The second piece to do the tough shit now, it means 
when your shadow is showing up, you have resistance to something. The thoughts and the feelings try to turn you away from that action and, you know, tell you that you should do something different. It wants to move you back to what is comfortable and predictable. You choose that energy, you look at it and you say, tough shit. <laughs> That's the other piece of do the tough shit now. The tough shit where you say, you know what, I see you, I hear you, I experience you, I'm not interested. Tough shit. I'm going over here instead. I'm doing that Facebook Live. I'm sending this this DM. I'm going to do this email to my list. I'm writing this powerful post. You turn to the shadow and you say, tough shit. That's the other side. So we want to take action, the tough shit action. We also want to have that tough shit mentality when it comes to your shadow. Does that make sense? So the tough shit in action is really when you look at the things you avoid, the things that your intuition drops in and you're like, no way, I can't do that. Or, oh, I can't say that. I can't, I have to, I have to soften that. I have to make myself more relatable. All the things we do to water ourselves down, to dampen down the truth of which we stand for. You need to be able to let that go. See the shadow aspect. I'm doing this because of a child reason, a prostitute reason, a victim reason, whatever your shadow is around that. And you want to let that go. You want to tell that shadow, tough shit, I'm doing it this way. Does that make sense? So do the tough shit right now. Because, as I said, it's not just that the action you're taking is going to bring you a sale. It might but it helps you to unlock more power, more energy, grow your energy field, animate your energy, and animate your truth. As you animate your actual, clear, um, precise truth more and more and more in your marketing, in your offers, on your sales pages, in your conversations, in your DMs, and all that stuff, you are going to find that the sales come to you more easily because you're standing in the truth. You're not standing in the shadow. You're in your power. And you're allowing your intuition to move you and you're doing the things regardless of your thoughts and feelings around it. Yeah. Okay. So do the tough shit now and make it matter. So make it matter means you decide what matters. You decide that doing the tough shit that's going to move you that much faster towards your goal is important. You decide that it matters. You make it matter so that when your shadow comes up and says, I don't feel like doing that, you can turn around quickly and say, tough shit, I'm doing it anyway. I don't think I've said shit so many times on one day in my entire life. <laughs> anyway, I hope this makes sense. Listen, if you're thinking of applying for um, the mastermind, Animate Your Cash Flow Mastermind, it, I've just dropped in some way powerful content into it. If you are joining me, if you're even thinking, if, you, if your intuition is there, get your application in today. If you want to apply, then we'll see if it's the right. So it's not a, it's not a commitment, your application. It's the first step. So... Tough shit if, if your mind is like, I can't afford it or I don't know if I'm ready. Blah, blah, blah. Tough shit if that's for you. If you want to make sales in your business this month, this February month where we are making it matter, I want you to go out today and ask people if they want to work with you. Very clear, very direct. Make an invitation. Do the tough shit or it's not going to change. You can, you know, if you're good at doing um, posts and written words and you've got that down and it's really not happening, it's because you need to unlock energy somewhere else. Do the tough shit. It will unlock energy. It will release your power. It will release magnetism. Now things become a lot easier, right? So the obvious side of tough shit, do the things you avoid, say you don't want to do, resist at all costs. And when your shadow pops up, tell it tough shit. Those are the two sides of tough shit. <laughs> Can't say the word anymore today that I want you working with this week, okay? So go out and make some invitations. Ask people in your realm, in your sphere, hey, this is what I've got. If you're interested, let me know. This is what I do. Are you interested? Great, let's have a conversation. Whatever the flow is for you, go and ask for sales. If you don't ask, people aren't coming. You're not gonna make your goals. You have to not just put yourself out there in the way you're comfortable, you have to get out of your comfort zone and try some different things, invite some different energy and invite your shadows to show themselves to you so that you can split the power. Okay, enough ranting. Um, again, if you have any questions on this stuff, please let me know. Get your applications in for the mastermind. Go and take a look at the landing page. It's changed a lot um, as my, um, yeah, there's lots been going on for me lately. So have a beautiful day. 
going to ask for sales and let me know how it goes. Okay. All right. Bye for now, everyone.